Hey everybody! I'm in the workshop today. I got another project going on. I'm creating a new lawn striper. So I got to use these chains like this. I bought a 50 foot long chain. I'm going to cut it into 18 inch sections so that I can uh, my, my what's on there is now what is on there now is only 12 inches long and I need it to be longer. So I'm going to go 18. That's 6 inches longer than um, say 12 inches. So that ought to give it it ought to drag on the ground about like that and give it a good give that lawn a good striping. And the ones that on, the one that's on it now, it just the chains are wearing out and it just it's just not low enough. Because originally I made that striper for a, an older lawnmower and uh, well it just the the newer Z track is a little bit different I guess. So uh, let's get started. I've got my safety glasses on because safety is key. Okay everybody. No matter what you're doing, make sure that safety is key. You don't want to lose an eye socket or, or anything like that. I'll probably use ear protection too. All right, I've already, and I've got my gloves on because this thing is going to create some sparks. This is an abrasive cutoff tool, and we're going to use that to cut the chain. But as I pull down on the handle, I also have to hold the chain from the other side to keep it from moving. Because, you know, chains, they're not very, um, well, they're kind of loose. You know, they move around a lot. Kind of like I do. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, I've even got a radio on here so I can have tunage as I'm working. Okay, I'm gonna, I'll am gonna. i zoom in on the camera and we're going to make a cut. And hopefully I don't cut anything off I shouldn't. Okay, okay, here we go. I sure hope it doesn't catch my hair on fire. <laughs> I don't have a fire extinguisher. I can't find one anyway. I had a fire extinguisher, but it's gone. Somebody stole it. That or I never had one. I don't know. Here we go anyway. Let's do a test. In all seriousness, be careful when doing this. Safety first. Mm, my workshop is messy. Okay, I'm holding the chain at the other end. I'm going to pull down. Well, the sparks got me, but I got it cut. Let's loosen it up. There it is. I don't know if you can see from the camera angles or not, but it's perfect. Woo. See how it let me tilt the camera up. I don't have a cameraman or a camera woman. There, they're perfect. Anyway, they'll, they'll sit on, on, on a, a metal rod like this, and, and the chains will be all next to each other. And then it, it mounts onto the back of the mower using a 3 8 inch bolt. I can't hear myself talk with the headphones on because it's blocking my ears. And that's not always a good thing. Anyway, that's I've got to do all of them. And then I'll go uh, show you how I'm going to make the, uh, the striper, uh, the part that it hooks onto. I need an L bracket, I think they call that, and, uh, and a, uh, a long rod, 3 8 inch maybe. That's what's coming up next here on my workshop video. I don't know what to call it. I don't have a name for it. It's just a, uh, I guess it, we can call it Greg's Workshop because my name's Greg and it's a workshop. It's actually a garage. It's got tools in it, but we won't tell anybody that, will we? No, we won't. Okay, on to the next step. I better turn this camera off before it explodes. I got them all done. Right here. I cut 35s of them. 35s of them that's going to go on the chain striper. 
Let, let's zoom in and have a look at it, shall we? Thirty-five chains. Thirty-five chains. Eighteen inches long. Eighteen inches long. Oh, I can't wait to mount these dudes. Okay. Now, it's on to the next step before we finish. I hope to get finished within a few days. Happy's working on the striper. Putting the chains on, putting the horses on. He likes doing these kind of jobs. I'm paying him 50 cents an hour. I think that's pretty good money. That's darn good money. Just about complete. Same one what? Yeah, nine sixteenths. That's a nine sixteenth wrench. It'll fit right on it. Use the ratchet in the end of the wrench and it will tighten it right up. I'm going to pull the mower out now that the striper's done, and I want to make sure that it, the tires doesn't doesn't run over the chains because if it does, I'll have to cut some links off. So let's find out if it works. Uh, stick with me. That or turn it off, I don't care. in my yard. I'm going to see if it'll make stripes. And uh, I got my good clothes on because I'm going to go for a jog and wave at the pretty girls here in about an hour because that's always fun. Well, wave at every, not just, I wave at everybody. Not just the pretty ones. Woo! Anyway, let's see if this thing will make some stripes. We'll see. Let's see if it makes some stripes. Okay.
it, it made stripes. I gotta, I gotta move the camera to the other side so you can see the stripes. Because it depends on how the sun's beaming down, what angle the sun's coming in at, where you can see the stripes at. Just give me three seconds. Here we go. Can you see the stripes? Isn't that pretty? That's pretty. I like that very much. I like it. Let me raise the camera up just a pinch. Is it still recording? Well, that's it for this video. I put my sunglasses on and and, and go for my jog. I got to put the mower away, but it was a success. It was a success. Everything turned out good. All right. This this is this video is over. Happy Easter, everybody! It's Easter. I was afraid to do a video like this on Easter because everybody's out Easter egg hunting. I don't want to make too much noise. I don't want to scare the bunny rabbits away. Anyway, I'm done with this. So uh, you have a happy Easter and do what I like to do. Keep on breathing because it really makes all the difference. Bye.